guys, welcome to a little, little discussion video to describe what I'm going to do for this channel. Uh, right here I'm recording a demo of what I played earlier. I think this demo is 18 minutes long. Um, let's actually get into what I'm going to talk about. Alright, what I want to talk about is the lack of videos the, and the games that I want to do. Um, and some news that I've got. So, earlier this week, I've gotten some news of a game group that we're gonna, I'm going to be playing in. They're called Zero Continues. I'm still going to be part of a group called Kung Fu Comedy Clan. They have their own Counter Strike server, Counter Strike 1.6, Counter Strike Go, and Left 4 Dead 2 server, as far as I know. We also have a Ventrilo server. Currently, um, I monitor the Left 4 Dead 2 server. Um, the there are continuous group I'll add in the description. The of the people who are in, in it and the groups, group channel. Yeah, lack of videos. The reason behind that was the school. And I reformed my, my my hard drive recently. I actually had I started doing more videos. I was gonna redo do a reboot of the Dishonored series and the Black Mesa series that's on my channel. Um, I have two videos from Dishonored before I reformatted my computer that day, which was a bad idea. I should have just but I, I didn't save the, uh, the game saves, and so that so now I have to redo that to the point of granny rags in the game. Right. And the reason of school uh, for two quarters I had four classes, and now I have two for some odd reason. And for having two, now it's giving me free time to do more videos, more gameplays. Time to record. Get my cursor out of there. Um, the games I want to do now: Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead 2, Counter Strike 1.6, Source. I want to do Borderlands 2 when I get it. Dishonored, Castle Crashers, Black Mesa, which is the which is a Source version of Half Life, the original Half Life. Uh, Counter Strike Condition Zero, the, the deleted scenes. Uh, I might do Condition Zero because there is single player stuff that have like a storyline to it. Yeah, it's dumb and cheesy, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Half Life 2 Deathmatch and Lost Coast. Um, the Hidden. I might look for the Hidden on here too. They also have TF2 Wear for Team Fortress 2. Um, I'm gonna, do the, I'm gonna do two of them. I'm gonna do Team Fortress 2 Hidden and the actual Hidden. Uh, Cry of Fear. Cry of Fear is gonna be put on hold. Or I, the creators of Cry of Fear and Odd are actually having a standalone for it. Uh, Portal, t Portal, not Portal 2, but Portal will be part of that. And then later down the road, Minecraft. Minecraft will be later down the road because I can't run it and record. I can barely run it and uh, on my laptop. Four gigs can't handle it. I also want to try to do emulators. Of games that they have on the TV, like that on TV, just to be Star Fox, Pokemon, Stadium, uh, Mario, Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing. What is Diddy Kong Racing? Racing. It was one for the blue elephant who could change a car from like change a car into a hover crab to a airplane to a car. Um later down the road I would I'll try to do 360 and I have a PS3 but it's my brother so I don't want to play that. And I heard it's harder to record on PS3 than it is on Xbox. And uh, that's pretty much it. 
Make sure you have more content. I try to do two videos a day. At least two. Uh, last time I talked about this this Team Fortress 2 gameplay, about five minutes in. <laughs> and this mod is the Free Fortress modification of the versus Saxon Hale mod. And if you guys aren't familiar with Saxon Hale mod, it is the Saxon Hale trophy, basically. But it's actually Saxon Hale, like the person. That's the only, only way I can describe this as a trophy. But Saxon Hale is the shop owner, basically, for Team Fortress 2. You see his picture in the shop when you go and buy something. And they've made a, the actual character in the modification for the uh, for it. In this one, you play as the administrator, which is the announcer lady. It says five minutes left in the game, or two minutes left. See? See what I mean? She had perfect timing. So for this one, they have a set amount of health. For this case, he has 2,660 as a sniper. And he's using the Sydney Sleeper, I believe. I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I'm using the upper hand, the frying pan, and the Girardi, which is an okay combination. I think I'm going to switch the Girardi with the time to die and run. That makes sense. It's time to run and die. Anyway, it would have made more sense if I used a SMG. We got like a couple of hits in. And the case with the upper hand is that if you move and shoot, his hat's right there. If you move and shoot, it doesn't help. It's just like the op and counter strike. You have to literally stop, shoot, go. Which I try to hear, but crouch and shoot helps for me. Also, what helped was the a flip shot. Like I said, the counter strike kid. I know a little bit about counter strike. I'm rust I'm rusty for counter strike. But uh I had fun playing that. Also, uh, let's see. This is the guy I play that is Bill Sniper. Where's my hat, Bill Sniper? There is the thing. This one was the. No, this one's the engineer. He hits. He hits you with a wrench. And he gets you like that old western thing with a little bit of a Star Wars laser. This one we've uh, this one was just completely upset. He, I don't think, I don't think too many people hit him before we all died. I think that was just because of uh, over health, was just slowly deteriorating from him. Now we're about ten minutes in. Eight minutes in, actually, and I got killed instantly. Wasn't was a challenge, to be perfectly honest. It was it was crazy. It was ridiculous. Actually, I should have closed that Two demo thing. Left in a mission. Two minutes Good now. Left in a mission. Eight minutes in. But uh, like I said, I'm recording with a demo, so it's gonna cut out, and you're gonna see the main menu. But, uh, this is what happens when there's a Saxon Hill slash Free Fortress mod. I, I want to find the times 10 server and the randomizer server and the TF2 where. The times 10 server is where you pretty much have times 10 of stuff. So, how does the Scout has the Sandman? The ball is times 10. Sorry. Lost my train of thought. Wait, it's times 10 for the ball. Now, this guy became the Headless Horseman Jr. I don't remember seeing him in this one. I think, he, I think this is the one where it, it wasn't a threat. I think he, he got one person, maybe, and died instantly. No, I think this one he just died. 
Yeah, he just died on this one. Don't know how he ended himself. Alright, so this one I waited after SG crits. SG crits was the one before me that I got to be the event. The uh who did I play as? Demo pack. Play this demo pack. Administrator is a spy reskin. And when I mean my spy reskin, you'll see right here. She knifed that first and that became the spy. She had the icicle at the time. But I think she had more than one knife. Because she, she, she had the icicle, as you can see. But you saw, you can see in the kill feed that there was another gun that she had, another knife that she had. I actually did get some hits in on her. But there are 102 damage is currently at 157 and she hits me from 125 to 33 and I'm right, right in front of her and she didn't kill me I thought she could shoot through glass um, as you can see she used a black rose knife let me move my microphone real quick sorry if there's any noise that came from that um, I like using scout, 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 yeah. Two S's. Sniper, scout, pyro, demo man, and it would have to be soldier. Engineer, it's not my thing. Uh, medic, I just like fighting, which is fun. Heavies, not my thing, it's too slow. Scout, get in there real quick. Capture the point or the payload. Perfect. Briefcase. This one I put as the demo man and I didn't know what I was doing. I finally figured out. I, I saw the I saw the little thing on the side at the time, but I didn't see it. It went away fast. I think I hit one and that's why it went away. Um, I'm reading it now. Down crouch. There, so I can just come right back down. Huh? I don't know about the rage. Um, at this one, they had a heavy who was keeping me in the corner, and I was figuring out the charge and charge here. So I got I think two hits on this heavy currently. Well, two hits coming up. I had one, then missed that and ran. I got a few kills and they got my health down to the half. Then I think I took out the sniper and the demo man here. He also plays Carl to sleep for me. Oh, why? Oh. Sorry, I've been trying this for too long. Been having some technical, technical difficulties. But uh, actually, that hat. I used to have that hat. Captain's carousel, carousel's carousel. I had it traded for the upper hand and other guns. This scout was AFK. I killed him. Um, my phone before it goes off again. They didn't go off, but I'm just worried about. All right, uh, at this point, I just wanted to get kills. I think there was there was three people left. This is the top, and this was a pain since it was like two. Two classes with the, the biggest mobility. There's three classes in total that I think have the greatest mobility. Four if you cut the spy. And of three, I think that have the greatest mobility. Is actually, yeah, I didn't I did include Demo Man. Demo Man has two ways of getting around the map. Um, Uses sticky bombs to launch himself. Or I think it's the grenades. I'm not 
It's either sticky bombs or the grenades. And he can charge and charge. And if you have the Alibaba's wee booties, you can turn while you charge. And I, was, I thought I had them on, so that's why I kept trying to turn. So I couldn't turn, I thought I had them on though. Um, this one, it took a while. Both the scout, the soldier, and the demo man. The spy, if you count, if you count the spy, yeah, because of his cloak. And his, his uh, ability to steal disguises with a certain knife instantly on backstab. But the sticky launch, pretty much the charge and charge for the demo man, the soldier with his rockets. And the scout because he's fast and he can double jump, triple jump if he can if he use the force of nature, I believe. Like right here, he'll you'll see it. He falls in because of the fortune force of nature pushed him back into that. And that was it was a, it was death, but it took a while. So now I'm down to one person. Two minutes left in the mission. Two minutes and I lost track of the soldier. I actually just heard him. I didn't hear him in the game. In this one, it doesn't have the full health back. It has a small minute of health back. This one, the soldier doing this did not help him out. So he turns around, boom, got him. And uh, my devil pad song goes on. Nine kills. Four hits. I want to figure out how to play too. And it's been a while since I played. Um, don't know what the thing I was talking about, but uh, this guy plays the ninja spy, and it's four to five. It's four to three to four swords, as you can see in his hand right now. Um, I'm assuming two per each. As you can see, this was a sort of a dirt moment for me. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna shoot where he's not at. As you see, my crosshairs were not on him at all. At all. Uh, this one, this one was like, all right, time to just get this over with. It's been t about 20 minutes, and I just don't play. Not, it's fun, but I just. I haven't played it. That was a weird thing. But uh, if you guys ever play Killing Floor, it's that time. And I got 340 hits on him. Nice shot. Damage dealt to I got one point for the round. I think this is where I start to pull the plug on it in game. I think like 20 minutes per game. 20 minutes of gameplay is good. Yeah, that was it. Uh, there's gonna be more gameplay to come, and I'll see you guys later.